Hey guys, Josh Kent with US Arms Company here on another video to talk to you about the M905 Talon muzzle brake. So the reason we're bringing this short video clip to you about the brake is that we've had several people come on to our forum and ask about the brake, what makes it special, why should I buy it, which are all valid questions. Um, and so we want to kind of talk through the brake, tell you its efficiency rating. You know, we understand, you know, we've, we've even had people say, well, is it loud? Um, that's kind of a, I don't want to say a, a redundant question, but all guns are loud. So yes, the brake is going to direct um, the pressure coming out of the barrel that's forcing the bullet out rear and up. So yes, the, it's going to be a little bit louder than you would normally fire um, the rifle with just a flash hider. So it is going to be a little bit louder, but I mean, guns are loud unless you're running suppressed and even then they have a certain decibel rating. So yes, they're loud. Uh, but the efficient, uh, efficiency rating or effectiveness of the brake in every test that we've done has been around 94% reduction in recoil. And this is across all calibers, even up to the 50, uh, 50 Browning machine gun round, so uh, out of a bolt action. So which is, uh, you know, all the testing that we've done, you can even shoot uh, with the M905 on a 10 and a half inch. We've been able to shoot a, a 30 round magazine one handed and the, the weapon just sits still. So the, the, the brake is very effective in what it does in redirecting um, the gas mechanically up into the rear to keep the muzzle down and keep the gun almost pulling forward away from you. So it's very effective. So <clears throat> here we're gonna talk about the design. So when you, when you buy an M905 brake, it's gonna come in this box here. We have the brake pulled out right here. So this is one of the M905 brakes. When you get it, it comes with a pair of earplugs, some assembly instructions for, you know, uh, what we would show you as a torque setting, uh, even for the screws, and then a shim kit to uh, keep that alignment um, when you set it on the barrel so that it's, it's true on this line of bore because we have roughly two and a half inches of uh, riding area where the, where the bullet's passing through this uh, open channel or bore. Um, in the brake, and so you really want that thing to be aligned when you mount it to your rifle. So here we're gonna go into talking about what makes it work. So as we see right here, the brake uh, uh, bisected here, we have a half 28 thread, which is your standard thread for AR-15. And then as we look, we have two different radius outside of the bore of the, the center bore line of this brake. We have an inside radius, which is kind of steep, and then we have a longer bearing surface or a longer radius on the leading edge. And the design was that as the gas exits the barrel and the bullets now traveling into this free open cavity, the, the gas behind it would start to flow to the path of least resistance. And so we see these longer arcing radius to where the gas can now build up and then kind of slow down as they get caught into these little pockets. So as the gas comes behind the bullet, it flows and it gets caught into these little pockets. And as you can see, this steep one uh, radius here is gonna speed it up and then the leading edge is gonna slow, gonna wanna slow it down and kind of grab the, the gas, the burnt powder um, as it turns to gas into these little chambers. So what we have is we have a, a mechanical chamber on each side that's now going to want to slow down and hold that gas in this brake for an extended period of time, as would be just your standard straight angle brakes, which is what everybody on the market is doing. So we have a longer bearing surface, and as we look to the exterior edges on the left and right, we have a vectoring or a closing off of where the gas is trying to escape. So most brakes. As we, uh, as we take a look at them, they had this large exiting area for the gas to bleed out, and it's not really focused. And so here on our brake, as the gas is leaving, it's, it's somewhat focused down and compressed, allowing this gas to accelerate out of the brake and give it that much more efficiency of wanting to go forward away from the rifle. And now we also look at these little pockets down here on the left and right edges. So as the gas builds up, as the gas builds up, it's gonna to wanna to come in this pocket right here, build up, and then by the slope 
of this cavity right here, it's gonna to wanna to direct it up and to the rear. All right, and so now we have the, the gas exiting up into the rear of the rifle. So we're literally controlling the mechanical pressure that's being released out of the rifle's barrel up into the rear. And you'll see, uh, we've done uh, tests on these, that it's about a 60 degree throw to your left and right hand side. And what that does is that's gonna pull that rifle away and not only pull it away, but kind of push that muzzle down and forward, which again makes the rifle comfortable to shoot for those who, you know, uh, if you're kind of sensitive to recoil or if you're an IPSC IDPA um, style shooter, this is gonna keep you on target longer. And so uh, even for your PRS style shooters, this allows you to shoot and spot your shot. And uh, that's the whole reason behind the break is to keep the shooter on target longer and make shooting more fun and enjoyable. So the, again, the efficiency rating on the muzzle brake from all of our testing has been 94% reduction in recoil, which we're super happy with that. We love the design. You know, a lot of people would say, oh, it's, it's a little bit bigger than what, you know, we see on the market. Well, it had to be because we had to make the bearing surfaces longer so that it would hold the gas in those chambers. So again, we're super proud of the M905 brake. We hope that you test it out. And again, thanks for tuning in for us uh, for this channel, and we'll see you again soon.